Welcome everyone to a brand new episode of Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at a WWE Elite 98 figure. And I kind of call this is kind of a Legends slash flashback figure if you want to call it that. This of course is Farouk Assad, also known as Ron Simmons from the APA and just Farouk as well. So this guy, interestingly this wave dropped about four or five months ago I would say. And this guy was just never, whatever way Smith's cases work, sometimes they are in cases and they're missing like one figure, which could be very frustrating as a wrestling collector. Um, but sometimes, yeah. So then lately, I think it was like two weeks ago, Smith's got in Mandy Rose, I think, who was also in this wave, and Farouk Assad, who originally hadn't made it to Smith's for whatever reason or other. And straight away, clearance both of them down to 15 euros and 20 euros respectively very strange business workings i don't know how to understand it myself but i always found this guy's look interesting the gimmick was terrible at the time i think it only lasted nine months and i think he was like feuding with ahmed johnson and then that kind of ended and he went on to the nation of job domination and the apa and all that kind of stuff but this i always kind of remember it sticks out because it's kind of similar to the rocks also goofy looking look from back then as well and it's interesting that the boat ended up in the nation domination fighting for leadership so i kind of wanted it when i saw the figure of it and i waited and it went down uh it went down luckily enough and i picked it up there today so yeah very very cool i'm looking forward to getting it out of the box and reviewing it but first let's check out the box so here is the box for farouk as you can see he's got the picture of himself there looking all Funny, I have to say. Um, it does say Farouk Assad down the side. Mattel. On the side, you've got a bigger picture of that there. On the back, you've got him in action or about to bust some chops. Also in this way, you've got Biggie Einstein, Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Rick Boogs, who's also like a tenor now at the moment in clearance, and Mandy Rose as well, who's current has also left the company at the moment. So you've got some negatives on the bottom. On the side, you've just got the name. On the other side, you've got a close to the picture I showed you already. And on the top, it does say Elite Collection. So this is Series 98. You do have True FX up there. So not much more to show you. So let's get this gladiatorial misfit out of the box. So here is Farouk out of the box. And this outfit is every bit as ridiculous as it was when he wore it. A blue and black gladiator outfit. Who would have thought this would be a good idea? But I will say it, it is an awfully good idea for an action figure if you were like doing like a mad gladiator line or something. He'd actually fit in well in Mythic Legions. And for that reason, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna compare him to my only Mythic Legions figure in a while. But uh, yeah, like this guy is really, the, the outfit was terrible, the gimmick was terrible. And the figure like, can't judge it on the, on the gimmick like but the figure does exactly what it says in the tin it recreates it fantastically and it looks really really good so yeah let's take it down and have a look at some more bits and pieces with it so here he is down off the swing of magic and let's take a look at what else this guy came with so accessory wise there isn't a whole lot it does come with two of your standard grappling hands for each hand and he does come with the silver version of the helmet. Now I see this is a big missed opportunity because they've not even done a different face scan or anything. It is the exact same head scan that is on the other one. So no different faces or anything like that. Exact same dull look on his face. So yeah, I'm not even going to swap over the heads because this was the one on it at the start anyway. So this is your, uh, your figure. Again, blue, black, quite basic. You do have this silver wheel thing, whatever it's supposed to be, on the side, on the arms as well. You've got these, you've got these like, a, I don't know what they are, bicep tassels or something. Now I presume if you remove the arms, these could come off. And again, you've got like just painted on wristbands here. Uh, on the back, again, you've got your knee pads down here on the, on the legs. And all black boots, all in one color. Very plain and basic. So articulation wise, it's got the standard 
metal articulation, you can get this much movement on the head, you can get a rotation, shoulders go all the way around, you can get a very good T pose like so, get out of focus there, it does have bicep swivels and the new double jointed elbow is in effect on this one which is good these have been needing them for a long long time it does have bicep swivel which is kind of hindered by the material there but you can still get a good bit of movement and you do have a waist swivel you can get those big clotheslines from hell in on your opponents legs wise you get a good splits you get a good kick up doesn't go back that far he does have double jointed knees but of course the knee pads do in for a lot of the movement there he does have boot rotation and the ankles are very tight and you could slide side to side wait your wait your doesn't really work that well so yeah like this figure is very tall and spindly as well i always remember farouk to be a bit more um body in size here he is next to the rock now, now that I mention it, the height wise is pretty good on these guys uh, and I do kind of fancy them to be that height and you can you can kind of see the bodiness there in Farouk. I know I keep using that word. It's a very Irish word, but yeah. So Farouk, pretty basic figure, a good representation of a weird costume that I kind of like. So for that alone, I would give it a six out of 10. Again, 6 out of 10 is probably harsh, but look, it's a bad costume, but it's, it's an interesting costume as well. And I did say I'd take a, I'd have a look at him next to a Mythic Legions. Well, interestingly enough, the only Mythic Legions figure I have is actually a Gladiator type one, and he is way taller than him. Well, not way taller, but look at his shoulders, how higher they are as well. So obviously, like Mattel, are seven inch scale on these figures so yeah that's 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 it guys let me know what you think a seven out of ten on farouk assad and another nice little uh, attitude pre attitude era figure to add to the collection and let me know what you think in the comments guys and we'll see you in the next one bye